Good day everyone and welcome. Before we start, we have a disclosure. Please be aware of risk in the future trading. We strongly recommend to stay on SIM as long as needed before you start using real money. Uh, we will start with the uh, Precision Auto Trade. We are done a long time ago. Now it's 3.26 uh, p.m. 28th of January. And uh, this trade on this is the only trade we have left uh, on the Precision Auto Trade. And that trade uh, has been on the 30-year Treasury bond forever. And um, this is um, what we can do in this position. We can say close position. And it is done. It's been on the same from um, 11.40 on the same trade. And um, welcome to trading. But the 30-year Treasury bond, uh, don't go too much zigzag like the ES. You know, so NASDAQ, I think we covered that on the other room, 4,680 based on three minutes. The daily target is 1,000, and when the trade... Uh, go to your uh, direction uh, the auto trade stay on that trade and um, and uh, whatever you get out of 1000 is just extra uh, I want to highlight the same uh, charts I highlight every day on the video uh, this is again uh, the uh, the uh, s 7 range uh, YM and um, we started around 10 o'clock. Actually, we started uh, with a, a winning trade. And then we had a losing trade. Winning trade, 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 and winning trade. So we had a total. Uh, we start before we started the webinar on the other channel live. So we started like uh, five, ten minutes before ten o'clock, and uh, we have one winning trade, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine trades, winning trade, and one losing trade. And uh, this is a YM, so it is a cheap to trade or auto trade YM. So this is uh, the seven range I've been highlighting uh, every every time. And then uh, the ES three minutes, a scalping uh, did okay, and uh, twelve hundred fifty. Uh, the Nasdaq again, we highlight the Nasdaq, the tick chart. Yesterday I highlighted uh, the Nasdaq five hundred ninety ticks is three thousand nine hundred, and also this one here is on one thousand dollar trade. Because of the last trade was a big trade, so this is the auto trade stay to your advantage. Uh, CL4 range, I also highlight the CL4 range, and uh, started right before we did go live on the other channel. One and two, and it was done. So this auto trade was just 15 minutes in the market, and it was done. First trade, pull back, re-enter the market, it was done. However, if we didn't have, you can disarm the daily target and you can trade all night long if you want to. I won't recommend that, but you can turn off the daily target, the daily losses. And by looking at this chart, there is a lot of good potential trades. Here there is a problem, problem. Problem, good trade, good trade, problems in the market, not my auto trade. Good trade, good trade, it depends how the market moves. Problems, good trade. So there is a lot of good trades and a bad trade. So the best way is to use the daily target and get it over with. However, you can turn off the daily target and uh, stay in the market if that's what you want. We highlight yesterday also the CL 20 second chart, and I recommended the CL chart on a full range and the, the 20 second uh, yesterday, 
and you can see there is one trade and from 1219 all the way to one o'clock it was no trade on that auto trade and there is no filter and it took one more trade that's fine 1222 trades and hit the daily targets on the YM 320 takes 1500 NASDAQ 410 uh, Tuesday Wednesday uh, they, uh, the, the 410 made a little over 4000 yesterday made a little bit above 1000 and today made a little bit above 1000 on the NASDAQ the 3 <coughs> uh, the, the, the 410 we talked about all week uh, this week uh, about the 350 ticks it is superb and has crossed over 15,000 this uh, week um, and um, and uh, it was one trade it was a reversal trade and it was started uh, the first trade around 10 o'clock because I turned on the auto trade right before the webinar uh, live on the other channel uh, uh, turn on at 10 o'clock uh, by the time I mean less than less than three minutes uh, the auto trade lock a profit 2600 and there is no more trade the rest of the day but it was a lot of good potential if I kept but uh, to learn to keep your profit that will be much better this way the CL five minutes is 1000, but it's not my favorite. As I said yesterday, uh, I prefer the full range uh, or I prefer the 22nd. Um, also, uh, I highlight the charts, the one I recommend, especially to our customers. Um, uh, I, I like the, I've been saying that the whole week, the 170 takes. Uh, on the ES is doing a great job and as we see it took a trade and took a trade on this V shape right there and it was one, 1575 what I can say about the 170 tick is a very consistent uh, chart very consistent and um, ES 3 minutes 5 minutes uh, 1250 a 28 second 1100 CL three minutes 1760 and the ES five minutes this is um, the ES five minutes yesterday made somewhere around 4000 if you go back to the video and today 4000 um, Monday didn't do well uh, Tuesday Wednesday did very well so across the 10,000 I think across around 11 or 12,000 this week uh, the five minutes on the precision auto trade um, it did a very good job um, and um, it is going the five minutes head to head with the uh, 170 takes so they're both are really good but um, and then what you do <clears throat> you can test the 170 takes and you can test the five minutes and uh, you can see which one you can stomach more. Um, <coughs> excuse me. ES uh, 2 minutes, 2600 is okay. Nothing special. On this one here uh, is uh, the 5 minutes, like this one here. But what we did, we test. This is the new optimization. This is the older template. And we can see the different. This one here is a 2650 because has not been updated has not been optimized for the last two weeks this one has been optimized and uh, the differential and the performance is uh, 1500 for one day so you can count how many how much you lose um, and the differential between updating your template uh, updating the template folks is only 15 minutes I can update the NASDAQ ES YM 
even if you are a slow or a beginner, you can be done in 30 minutes on the weekend. But you should not sit down on the weekend and do replay. What you need to do, just put the chart there and adjust the, the trailing stop and uh, the, the target. It's just minor adjustment optimization. You're not building a new chart. What you're doing, you're just tuning up the chart you have. That is a big difference. When you are trying to make a template, you might open six chart and then you go down to two chart and filter the rest. But once we already like what I go back to yesterday video, you can see how you can pinpoint your chart and how you can uh, start, let's say, uh, how many there is here, there is around nine charts. You can start with a uh, nine different approach to the ES as an example. After you test it for one week, you slim it down to three and then you slim it down to one chart and then it will be your chart. And then what you do, you do minor adjustment on that chart and that it c can go with you for a very long time. Uh, let's uh, look at the uh, TI-7. The TI-7 is a total different auto trade. The TI-7 has a, a huge variety of entries and uh, filters. And, um, you know, before we cover the TI-7, this one here is coming from the Signal Market Analyzer. We still have a few trades on the base on the 15 second and uh, this is the last trades for today and um, uh, this is coming from the market analyzer and uh, this is very nice at the end of the day and uh, this is a total different auto trade so we're about to be done with those that will be the last trace for today. Uh, the TI-7 scalping, which I, you know, I find this, the, the NASDAQ scalping is a little bit a nightmare. Uh, 2400 for scalping. I prefer to swing trade the NASDAQ, actually. Uh, ES-11 range, we have talked about this yesterday, and uh, 2500 It is, again, $1,000 target. Because the market keep going to your direction, the auto trade is not going to stop. So even if you have $300 daily target, if the last trade going to your direction, you're going to get the same amount. He has one minute statement on the one minute, 1500 Again, scalping the NASDAQ. I think I'm going to stop scalping the NASDAQ because it's... It's too much trade for NASDAQ on a scalping. I prefer to go swing trading. But we have to show you the scalping and the swing trading and you decide what you want to do. And we have to show you different time frame. But what you can do, you can scalp or swing trade or do whatever you want. NASDAQ, five minutes, scalping, 2400. DAX, the DAX, um, it was yesterday or the day before yesterday, on one trade made a little over 10,000. And today it was, took a, a couple beats, and then at the end it was very good. I was busy, I didn't pay attention uh, to it because I could have closed it from here, the bottom. But um, I was busy, I didn't pay attention to it. Could have been double the amount of money if I have my eye on it. Russell, we covered that as well. Uh, we've been covering this the whole week and um, took a two trade today and on the last trade it was beautiful i'm not a uh, russell trader i'm not at all uh, and i don't know i i never was interested in uh, the russell but uh, here is the russell for the russell traders uh, 14 20 on a six range and that's the only chart i have on the russell of course you can auto trade it on the minute uh, on the tick chart but for me, I just have it on a six range uh, for a Russell traders, but you can use any time frame. I only have one chart uh, to show that you can uh, trade the Russell, but it's not my piece of cake, the Russell. I prefer the DAX. Um, uh, scalping, uh, the NASDAQ 38 second. 
even on the 38 second today was really choppy. Um, CL 5 minutes, 1150, 1700 CL 4 minutes, uh, ES 12 range, 1600, 1300 ES 4 minutes, 1250, 11 range, ES uh, scalpin, uh, 2000, and um, YM 3 minutes, 12, 1475 on one minute and 3,935 on the Nasdaq free, uh, four minutes. So, and, uh, oh yeah, and uh, we have released, uh, we covered one of the charts. It's uh, the institutional auto trade. It's a total different, even the institutional is even bigger than the TI7. But for a new trader, when they come in, what we do on the ES, this one here is much bigger than even the TI7. And um, but when the when the when we have a new customer, we'll tell him to start here on the Precision Auto Trade because it's not complicated, and it is uh, only one entry does not require filter. And once he start learning on this understand the power of uh, looking at the technical chart optimizing uh, putting him put his brain right back into reality about trading not to trade an auto trade as an atm machine and um, and now those uh, trades from the signal uh, the market analyzer and uh, this is the last trade for today and um, this is the last entry for today and um, it's a crime to kill the trade so to what we can do we can go like this if the market want to go up that will be fine but i'm not going to force close uh, the trade not on a winning trade anyway and um, once the fib line uh, come into your trailing stop, uh, the, the auto trade readjust your trailing stop to the fib line. It does it automatically. So when you put in something in there, and and um, and let's say you put it here, and uh, once those fib line come into where you put your stop loss, and maybe we can do that. That oh. It's too late. Maybe we can do with this one here. And once the market, oh man. Once the market, the, you see, look, uh, it just adjusted to the fib line automatically. And this is a beauty, you know. So you're always, even if you are occupied on another chart, uh, you will have uh, the trailing. Look, now they, are, they, they got adjusted. You know, so we 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 have two full time programmers, highly costly every year, uh, not to just uh, to enjoy their company, because uh, you have to think about when you are auto trading, you are against millions of traders out there. They are auto trading too, so if you don't use the latest technology, and your your auto trade. It's not updated to the latest technology, the latest algorithm and knowledge, experience. You're going to be uh, getting lost in the sea because you're not, you know, you always have to think that when we are auto trading, there is another million trader is auto trading too. So you're not the only one sitting on an auto trade. There, there are millions of people from China all the way to Europe, from Europe to Philippines, to USA, uh, to Australia. Uh, I mean, there is uh, some people are educated, some people are not. Some people have advanced trading, uh, some people don't. Some people have um, high speed internet, some people don't. Uh, so, it, all this count because. You have to think about it as a competition between you and the other guy 
and the one who makes mistake he has to pay to the other guy so an auto trade is not an auto trade and it's not only PNL it is like for me the Nasdaq I don't like it as a scalping but I like the Nasdaq scalping and the ES scalping on Monday because on Monday there is not much going on I, I don't want to swing trade uh, on uh, Monday now sometimes during the week uh, the, the, the the swing trader will not work because the market is not moving then you can downgrade your auto trade to scalping so by having over 15 auto trade in your package it's not just to show off with it it is for this trader to have if you want to take an engine on a Mercedes or Toyota you don't come in with a a wire plier and a screwdriver and you're gonna take your uh, the engine off you're gonna have tools for every situation to take an engine off and um, uh, with a with a auto trading or you want to go in this field in the trading you cannot come in with one entry and you're gonna bang on the market and compete with millions of traders out there they are using the latest technology and you're gonna come in with a pinto and you want to outperform this guy he has invested time and money with education auto trade algorithm smart algorithm and you're gonna come with a donkey trying to 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 outrun this guy uh, and this game here in the trading is not the smartest is the one is more dip, disciplined education knowledge so if you have fifty thousand dollar you have no knowledge you can easily lose fifty thousand dollar but if you have a five thousand dollar with an educated knowledge and you are using different type of tools monday is not like friday tuesday is not like thursday wednesday is a very special day every single day in the market you have to approach it differently like on Wednesday, when you have the FADs, when you have the CL inventory, on Monday, the market has not been adjusted. You cannot dive in with the swing trading. So every single day in the market is a different approach. Not just that. On Monday morning is different from Monday afternoon. On a Friday morning is different from Friday afternoon. So, uh, sadly, um, if you cannot re recognize the basic, you are already in trouble, and um, you can get away with it for a day, two, three, but eventually it's a fast train, and it's going to rack. It's out of question. So that's why, uh, please. Um, with Ninja Trader, you can turn on your SIM. Do not use your real money until you have both of feet on the ground. Otherwise, you're gonna be a lot in a lot of trouble because you have to really uh, think about this market. Uh, every hour, there is a devil in there, different devils in there. You know, uh, it's not. Uh, it just you turn on the auto trade and the market keep going up you know there is a lot of uh, season come in at daytime it can go flat start trending pulling back uh, getting chop uh, I mean you know that it's, it's a whole it's a whole different uh, type of um, you know I mean this is not just a piece of cake you know uh, it is hell in the beginning I, I'm not gonna admit it I mean it is hell when you first start and you want to start dig into the trading uh, it is hell it's not a picnic but then you have to think about the trading it's not a, just a short term it's, it's a long term haul um, some people might take them six months some people might take them one year not to be sitting in a room learn price action but to understand the habit in the market, it takes time. Some people take them three weeks. 
you know, depends how much uh, effort you put in there. And that's why you see, the more you get educated, the more you get aware the market movement, uh, the easier it will be when you are auto trading. Because when you're auto trade taking a trade, you understand if this trade is going to make it or not, or your auto trade is already in trouble. And you need to get out as soon as possible. And, and um, the miss sending this message to the traders, you optimize and you are good. The reason they do that because they don't want to work with you. They just want to give you a couple of videos how to optimize. And they want to get rid of you. It's too much work. And probably he don't know even how to, to teach you uh, about uh, the, 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 the price action. So the, the auto trade gentleman is 50%. The other 50% is the driver behind the auto trade. If you want 100%, there is no such a thing called 100%. You know, that you turn it on and um, you turn your brain off and you make money. Uh, this does not exist. Folks, thank you very much. Thank you very much for today. God bless you all and wish you a pleasant weekend. Thank you. Bye.